Hello. Today, I'm going to show you this differential equation. Uh, we're going to use separation of variables, but before we do that, I'm just going to rewrite it, changing our root y into y to the power of a half. So it's always beneficial to write all our powers of x or y or any variable in index form instead of thinking about roots or cube roots or anything like that. And our next step then, we're using the separation of variables, so we bring, want to bring all the y's to the left and all the x's to the right. So what we get now is we're going to have y to the minus a half dy is equal to, the 4 is still there, and then we have log x over x. And now oh, we're still going to have a dx over there as well, and we're going to integrate both sides. In this step, we've treated our dy dx like a fraction. It's not really, but it works in this case when it's just dy dx, not like d2y dx squared. So we're able to do this and it will give us valid solutions. The next step we're going to do then is we're going to look just at this right integral. We'll see why in a second. So if we think integral of log x over x dx. And let's do this then with uh, by parts, by using integration by parts. So if we have u to be log of x, that means u dash is going to be 1 over x. And vice versa then, if v dash is 1 over x, well, v must be log x because they're the same as each other. So the integral then is going to become log x squared take away the integral of u dash times by v. So we have log x on x, which the eagle eye amongst you would have noticed that this is the same as over there. So we can rearrange this thing now and say that we have, well, 2. And then x over x integrated is going to be equal to log x all squared. And now we can divide by 2 to give us that the integral is just a half of log x squared. So if we carry on from up here now, the left-hand side, well, that's going to integrate to give us y to the half divided by a half, which is the same as times by 2. The right-hand side, then, we have the 4 from here. And this thing, we know, is now our half log x squared. So the 4 times by the half gives us a 2. And the log x squared is just the log x squared. Beautiful. Now then, we want to use our initial value, because we should actually have a plus c over here. Sorry, I forgot about that. So we should have our plus c, but now we want to plug in our initial value to figure out what our, our value of c is. So if we do that, our 1... Sorry, our y is 1, so the left-hand side is just 2. The right-hand side, then, we're going to have 2 multiplied by the log of e, all squared, plus c. And now the log of e is equal to 1, so what we're left with is 2, is equal to 2 plus c. So therefore, c is equal to 0. So what we can do now, then, we can take that value of c, and we can plug it into our general solution to get our particular one. So we're going to get 2, y to the half is equal to 2 ln of x squared. And our c is now 0, so it's just plus 0 in the end. Next step, then, we'll divide by a 2. So we get y to the half is equal to the square of natural log of x. And then next step, we will square both sides, so we have y equals. So y is going to be equal to the fourth power of the natural log of x. Beautiful.